Hello, Mark Crossfield here. I've also got Average James here, or Medium James, I think we call you, isn't it? Um, he's helping us today. We've got Trackman on, and I've got two clubs. I've got two Mizuno 6 irons, one bladed, one as chunky as I can get, one shaft. I put a question out to Facebook over the weekend. Which of these two clubs is going to spin more? Which of these two clubs is going to go lower or higher? So get your questions in your mind ready. We're going to hit some shots, or I'm going to hit some shots, and James is going to just make sure that we get equivalent hits on two to compare and we'll see which one goes higher, which one spins more. Let's see if it does do what you think these different designer clubs are meant to do to the ball. Let's get stuck in. So here we go, I'm gonna hit the MP69 bladed iron and we've also got the JPX fly high. I've made sure these are the same loft, so I've moved the loft on one of them to make them exactly the same loft. We're gonna give them a hit with the same shaft and we're gonna try to get equivalent hit and show you the data of which one spins more or less, which one goes higher or lower. Let's see what happens. So I put this question out to Facebook, got loads of answers. Most people seem to think that the chunky one will spin more and go higher and the bladed one will spin less and go lower, but that, there was other answers as well. So you can go on and see the thread if you want to see what everyone's answers were. So let's go with the bladed one first. So we're just trying to go for equivalent strikes. So I'll tell you when I think I'll hit one out the middle, James, okay? Here we go. Okay, not bad, bit toey. So let's see if we can get a better hit than that. Okay, not bad at all. Maybe a shade off the bottom, but I'll take that one. Done one more, there's only one down at that, isn't it? Which is not quite where I am. Struck that well. Yeah, okay. So we've got the bladed iron there swinging at, so if you go to shot number seven, yeah, so it's 1.9 down, so we're gonna try and get the same angle of attack. It's got 7,700 revs, so that's the spin off the face, and its height is 63.4 meters. So, yeah, a foot, 64.3 foot, sorry can say that's high right let's change this over then to the JPX fly high so if you get rid of the other ones James and keep that one on so shot seven is the marker let's see if we can get an equivalent hit then with the chunky club Okay, not bad, a fraction off the bottom of the club, but not bad. Okay, let's do one more. I reckon I can get that more equivalent. That's a good strike. What's the numbers on that one like? Okay, not bad. Yeah, we'll use that. So, if we get rid of the middle one, so numbers, guys, on those two shots, if you go to the Chunky Club, basically it's topping out at uh, 70.8 feet, where the bladed, James, where was the bladed? 63.4, so almost seven foot higher from the Chunky Club, which is what people would expect. If you go back, spin rate, Chunky Club, 6,400 revs per minute, where the bladed club was 7,744 per minute. What was the launch angle of those two clubs? 14.9, 16.8. Right, the chunky club launched off the face a bit higher, went higher, spun less. The bladed club, so uh, which is, if I get the right bladed one in my hands, the bladed club, that did spin go back to the beta club spin loads more and launch two degrees less and then stayed lower so the chunky club does go higher but it's not the spin that's making that go higher lots of people are thinking they're hitting the ball and the ball spins up in the air the bladed club actually spun more 
than the Chunky Club, but the Chunky Club went higher. So the bigger overriding factor here wasn't the spin, it was where the CG is on these clubs. So the center of gravity lower below the vector, below the center of the ball, which is pushing it up higher, maybe a little bit of bending forward from the bigger head. So out of those two clubs, yes, the JPX goes higher. It's launching higher. It's not spinning higher because it's actually spinning less where the bladed club is spinning a lot more but launching that bit lower, which I think is quite interesting because lots of people would say that the junkie club goes up in the air because it launches higher and then spins up as well. That's not actually the case. The chunky clubs are spinning less than the bladed clubs. It's just the center of gravity. So the biggest the, the denominator here is much more on where that CG is rather than the, um, the spin that's coming off the face or the spin that the club is generating so much because what is contrary to most people's beliefs, certainly from the answers to the question I put out on Facebook, the chunkier one certainly spinning a lot less than the blades. Let me know what you think, guys. Post comments down below. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. Interesting one, that or not, let me hear. And thanks for watching. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.